Hello there, today I am here with Onslaught. Finally, we got to the Combaticons. Um, you've seen this vehicle mode plenty, and I mean plenty of times. Basically see the entire robot mode underneath. Here's a view of what he looks like without his trailer. Looks kind of boring without his trailer, so let's just put that back on. And, uh, I'm not going to be showing off the rest of the Combaticons for any of their videos. Um... I just save like group shots for the Bruticus video. So stay tuned for that. And uh I think you've already se I think we've already seen everything there is to see about this mode, so let's get on to the size comparisons. If you're wondering who this random truck is, that's Sentinel Prime. He's a Cybertronian truck. And that's kind of an excuse. Um I'll make a more Earth vehicle accurate Sentinel Prime somewhere in the future. Maybe Dark of the Moon. Almost forgot his little human. Well, it's not his human. It's it's a human. This, this is a massive human. Alright, let's get on to the transformation. This is going to be a doozy. Um, I'm going to do the, the combined mode transformation first. So, rotate the thirds out. Um, let's see. Sadly, there's parts forming. This is the only piece of parts forming, but it's also kind of necessary. It's only necessary for combined mode, so you can just leave it off for all the modes. But when it comes to combined mode, that has to be on there for stability purposes. Um, I'm just going to move this stuff back because I don't have a lot of room as it's kind of a big character. Um... You're gonna rotate these to the side. And then this will basically give them clearance. Give these turrets clearance to rotate around and then like that. So same thing with the other side. These turrets like to pop off, and then, and then just rotate it up like that. So from this angle, it kind of like covers his head. And now you've got that. Put these up. Basically, it's feet in robot mode. And then these will just be rotated out to the side. And once they're rotated out to the side, they'll just be flipped. This is kind of hard to do without breaking this stuff off. It's kind of annoying. So basically you get a leg like that. Let me try to do it this way. Yeah, this is really hard to do. It pops off because of the angles right there. You see the, the yellow piece, the ball joint piece, it's round, but the like the pieces on top and underneath are like pointed, so as you can see. Yeah, it just pops off. But no worries, I don't think that should count as parts forming. And then you're gonna have to combine the arms of these pieces, which will split the chest like that, so that's where this piece comes in. Like I said, it was necessary for combined mode. Just place it right there, and there you go. Now you might be wondering where you put the, the where you connect the headpiece. Um, his head kind of acts as a tab, so his head kind of has to have a stud on it, which kind of sucks, but that's how things have to be. All right, robot mode. Also, one more thing, actually, if you want to take these turrets off and make it more G1 accurate, 
just to make it so that the turrets are actually on the back. His um, robot mode chest is open, so just do that. Just place the turrets on there. And there you go, more G1 accurate. First thing you're going to do, take that off. We're actually going to put the turrets back on. Because once again, you're going to need to do this tricky turret rotation technique thing. Kind of sucks, but you got to do what you got to do. Um, rotate the legs out. These will... Actually, no, actually, you don't need to do anything. These turrets, you can leave them like that. Um, rotate the feet back properly. And basically, just rotate the. What the heck? Hold on. So, in order to create clearance, you're gonna need to. Uh, move his legs down like that. Wait, hold on. A, wait, hold on. Okay, just find a way to make the arms go into a position like this. And then that gives clearance where on vehicle mode, this is the vehicle mode thing, so you can move the arms like that, so it has clearance to slide right underneath, and then into the leg position. Just put that down like that, and then he just fix the arms. If you want to give his hand details, you just twist that. And then his turrets rotate up. And there you go, robot mode on slot. These dark blue um, pieces on his back allow his legs to spread like this, so that's kind of cool for dynamic poses, I guess. Actually, no, that's just kind of a leg spread. Yeah, it's kind of mediocre, I guess. But sadly, you're going to need to find a place to put this piece. Place it right there, and now the legs cannot separate because of physics and collision. So now he's just stuck standing like this. Uh, most of the bad guys and human and stuff. Decepticon goons and stuff. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to build Onslaught. Here's the first set of pieces you'll need to build Onslaught. And everything you see over here, just find two of each of these pieces because both of his legs are the exact same and his leg is kind of complicated, so I'm using, I'm using his other one as like a reference. First thing we're going to build is this because it's just that easy. Already finished. That. Not this. Um... And then, and you're just gonna build this. Put that right there. And then we'll just put it like that. piece right there this is basically what you should have it's just a side view kind of looks like a gun 
And then you're just gonna place each of these up there. There you go. Those are his legs. Here's the final set of pieces you'll need to build on slot. Alright, put that on there. This simply tabs in at the top. So, right here, that should leave a little opening right there. But if you want to do parts for me and make them size accurate to like Megatron and all the others, then just move it one down. So, this is poking a little bit over his shoulder. And that's that. And this is what I'm talking about. Here he is. No size comparison next to Megatron. This is the average six stud height, which Megatron is, and this is what I saw it look like if you made him shorter. Anyways, with that out of the way, see you next time.